into a restaurant together yeah. when the show got rescheduled due to the weather. I tried to hurdle something too back in the day, and I broke my face. Yeah. <laughs> we got it. And all she got, you know, the the frog squats, the froggy leap squats. Writing songs about douchebags who cheat on me, but I'm not gonna say that. Do you know Travis Kelsey? And I'm like. <laughs> But I, I think it's great. What most don't know is that I actually am as nervous as they are. That's impressive. MGK's half a million dollar offer. Picture this, a tempting offer sprinkled with hometown love and a dash of serious cash. Machine Gun Kelly, better known as MGK, didn't hold back when he tried to woo Travis Kelsey away from the Kansas City Chiefs with a whopping $500,000 proposal during Kelsey's own podcast. Now that's what you call a bold move. But wait, MGK didn't stop there. Nope. He sweetened the deal by promising to match the same amount as a charitable donation to their high schools, Cleveland Heights and Shaker Heights. And just to make it even harder to resist, he threw in daily breakfast and coffee deliveries straight from his restaurant, all in exchange for Travis sporting the Cleveland Browns colors. Now, who wouldn't raise an eyebrow at that? Travis Kelsey sure did. Amidst the laughter and banter on the New Heights podcast, Travis couldn't help but find MGK's offer intriguing. I mean, come on, half a million dollars, hometown donations, and morning caffeine delivered to your doorstep, it's like the ultimate package deal. I tried to hurdle something too back in the day and I broke my face. <laughs> yeah, we got it. Who's your favorite team? Broncos. I hate them. What? Background, but like to me, there's this like, they're like surprising piano which I think is the shit. I attribute a ton of mine to, to Travis. I mean, um, almost all of it. Uh, I, when I was in college, I didn't even have a tight end. And I Nobody can, you know, make, make laugh at me more than me, and I promise you that. But despite the temptation and the heartfelt plea from his fellow Clevelander, Travis ultimately decided to stick with the Kansas City Chiefs. Yep, sorry Browns fans. The star tight end wasn't ready to trade his red and gold for the Browns orange and brown just yet. The situation in Kansas City seemed too good to give up, even with such a compelling offer on the table. In the end, MGK's heartfelt gesture and persuasive offer didn't sway Travis from his loyalty to the Chiefs. But hey, you gotta admire the effort, right? Who knows, maybe someday the winds might change and we'll see Travis Kelsey rocking those Browns colors after all. But for now, it's a touchdown for Kansas City. Travis rejects MGK's bribe. Travis Kelsey, the Kansas City Chiefs standout tight end, made a big call that echoed louder than a game-winning touchdown. When Machine Gun Kelly dangled that tantalizing $500,000 carrot, Travis didn't bite. Yep, he politely said no thanks to the Cleveland Browns' tempting offer during their chit-chat on the New Heights podcast. Now, it wasn't because Travis didn't feel the tug of his hometown heartstrings. Oh, no. The allure of going back to Cleveland was definitely there. But as much as the idea sparked something, Travis made it clear that his loyalty lay firmly with the Chiefs. And why wouldn't it? Kansas City was treating him mighty fine, and he wasn't ready to trade that red and gold for anything else. Oh, I'm so athletic. <laughs> <laughs> I feel the same. That all she got? No, the, the frog squats, the froggy leap squats. It flashes back to the moment where we met, and you realize that we could see all of it. I, uh, obviously, he's the main one throwing me the ball, right? The most unique quarterback that we've seen in the NFL. Very driven, professional individuals. I think they're very supportive of each other. No, Thank you. no. Thank you. No, no, because you tweeted about it. You you did something about that time. <laughs> In his own words, the situation over in Kansas City was top-notch, like scoring a touchdown without breaking a sweat. Travis didn't even blink at the opportunity to stay with a team that felt like home away from home. The charm of the Chiefs, the thrill of the game, and the whole vibe in Kansas City? Well, that was a winning combo he wasn't willing to let go of just yet. So with the Browns' offer on the table and MGK's persuasive pitch in the air, Travis Kelsey stood firm, holding tight to his Chiefs jersey. He made it clear Cleveland might tug at his heartstrings, but right now, the only colors he's rocking are those of the Kansas City Chiefs. And you gotta respect that loyalty, right? Looks like the Chiefs got themselves a real MVP in Travis Kelsey on and off the field. Swift and Kelsey, no moving in plans. Despite the buzz and whispers circling around, let's set the record straight. 
The rumors about Taylor Swift packing her bags to move in with Travis Kelsey? Totally off base. Reports might have hinted at Taylor Swift cozying up in Travis Kelsey's Kansas City abode, but those claims were swiftly debunked. Sure, the two were spotted spending a considerable amount of time together, and whispers suggested a blossoming serious relationship between the pop sensation and the Kansas City Chiefs' star tight end. But let's not leap to conclusions. The gossip mill might have gone into overdrive, but the notion that Swift was relocating to Kelsey's place? That turned out to be nothing but hearsay. All right, it's been a long time coming. It's been years of getting Machine Gun Kelly on there, getting Machine Gun Kelly. Like, your fan base is so rad. You know that you don't have to go back to the mansion if you don't want to. Nice. Writing songs about douchebags who cheat on me, but I'm not going to say that. Friendship start. What was the, the impetus of this bromance? The friendship started just because I thought we're very similar. Kobe Spence has changed our lives, and, and you know, Travis is has pitched in there. Of course. Yeah. He's, such, he's such a good dude, and the whole Taylor Swift thing now yeah. is uh, becoming to <laughs> An insider clarified that while Taylor and Travis were indeed spending significant time together and exploring a romantic relationship, there were no immediate plans for Taylor Swift to uproot her life and set up camp in Kelsey's home. The alleged reports claiming a move-in were swiftly brushed aside as entirely untrue. So hold the moving boxes and housewarming gifts. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey might be enjoying each other's company and getting serious, but when it comes to sharing a mailbox, well, that's a different story altogether. Looks like the rumor mill got a bit ahead of itself with this one. Kelsey's High School Sporting Triumphs Let's take a throwback trip to Travis Kelsey's high school days, a time when his athletic prowess was on full display at Cleveland Heights High School in Ohio. This guy wasn't just good at one sport, he was a triple threat, excelling in basketball, baseball, and football. But hold up, it was on the football field where Travis truly shone like a star. As a quarterback, he didn't just play, he dominated. His standout performances weren't going unnoticed either. Travis's skills caught the eyes of many, earning him well-deserved recognition for his exceptional talent on the gridiron. His impressive achievements as a quarterback didn't just pave the way for local fame, they set the stage for bigger things. Travis Kelsey didn't just graduate high school with a diploma, he left with a golden ticket, a scholarship to the University of Cincinnati. Uh, just having a good time, saying what's up to the fans, hey, we're oh, no, you're going to jail, you're going to jail. By a very similar one. Which one's that? Um, the one I just said. Exact, yeah. <laughs> oh, um, people ask really weird question. Do you know Travis Kelsey? And I'm like... <laughs> but I, I think it's great. Been to a restaurant oh, together yeah. when the show got the schedule due to the weather. Bro, what? Man. Is this even legal? This can't be legal. This can't be legal. That's right. His remarkable skills landed him a spot at a prestigious institution, giving him the opportunity to further showcase his talents at the collegiate level. Travis Kelsey's journey from the fields of Cleveland Heights High School to the spotlight of the University of Cincinnati was just the beginning of an incredible story that would see him become one of the most recognized and celebrated tight ends in professional football. It all began with those standout performances and a determination that was evident from the get-go. Emerging Romance The world loves a good celebrity romance, especially when it involves two stars like Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. Rumors swirled, whispers circulated, and the media went into a frenzy, all pointing to a potential budding romance between the pop sensation and the Kansas City Chiefs' standout tight end. Taylor Swift, with her chart-topping hits, and Travis Kelsey, with his game-winning plays, seemed like an unexpected yet intriguing match. Reports flew in claiming that these two were more than just acquaintances, they were spending quality time together, dating and apparently sparking the flame of a serious relationship. Paparazzi snapshots captured them hanging out at various spots, sparking intense speculation about their blossoming romance. But hold on a sec, while the gossip mill might have been working overtime, painting a picture-perfect love story, let's pump the brakes on the moving trucks. Reports hinting at Taylor Swift planning a relocation to Travis Kelsey's place in Kansas City? Nope, that's a big no-go. 
While these two superstars were indeed spending a considerable amount of time together and seemed to be enjoying each other's company, the idea of Taylor Swift swapping her residences wasn't exactly on the table. Sources close to the duo clarified that despite the romance rumors, the concept of them moving in together was swiftly refuted, seemingly just a tall tale. Around Taylor and Travis, friends and insiders gushed about what a great match they made. Mm. Cute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is Wait, the first what? time we met, dude. Yeah. Are you, like, I know, I feel like I know you so well. I've fed, I've fed her dog before. What I don't know is that I actually am as nervous as they are. That's impressive. And then, like, when it came out and was so big, especially the idea of, like, where everybody was, like, pissed. Hug first for a Kansan. Wow, well, hi. Hey, Travis. Right? Like, did you expect it to be that psycho when it came out? No, nah, we shot it two years ago. Amid their bustling schedules and global fame, of stardom and relationships in their own way. And while the media might have had a field day spinning tales of their romance, these two seemed content with whatever they were building, be it friendship, love, or simply enjoying each other's company in a world where privacy was a precious commodity. So the story of Taylor and Travis's supposed budding romance might have been one for the tabloids, but the truth behind the headlines? Well, that remained an enigma, wrapped in rumors and sealed with the mystery of two stars enjoying their time together away from the spotlight's glare. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.